challenging ourselves and eating 7-Eleven food for 24 hours. So we're going to challenge ourselves with eating breakfast, lunch and dinner. So as you guys may know, in Vietnam and Southeast Asia, um, convenience stores are very accessible, but they also offer a lot of hot foods. Today we're just purely eating 7-Eleven foods. Let's go. Huge selection of water, even tea, uh, coffee, um, soda drinks, as well as a lot of alcoholic drinks as well. And so there's a whole other section for alcohol drinks over here. Alright, so I'm gonna try the Jasa, which is 7 Eleven's own brand of milk tea. And they put ice in cells, which is a refreshing drink, and I'm gonna start my morning with tea. So first meal, so right here we have milk iced tea with some pills. Mm, and I've got a Vietnamese coffee, so it is a Nescafe brand uh, for Cafe Viet and it says Cafe Dang Da, so just black coffee and it looks very strong. And for our meals, so I got the bun mi, so the pork bun mi, which I'll grab out for you. Wow. Whoa. And then I also got a bun bao, which has a it's a little pork bun sorry chicken bun and it looks like that oh wow it looks very funky it does <laughs> little chicken bun with cheese all right and then i've got the supur which is crab soup and a burger bun from the pastry section pork in a little bun it comes in a package like that and a well-known dessert in vietnam actually a party soul um, don't have high hopes because it is a convenience store, but anyway, I thought I'll try it out. So let's dig in. Mm. Mm. All right, very, very thick. Mm. It looks very gelatinous. Yeah, very gelatinous. It's not bad. It needs a lot of pepper. It needs more pepper, and maybe it's just a splash of chili. But no, quite good. Happy with that. I'm moving on because I'm starving. <laughs> And I'm really excited for this one. I'm starving. How's your drink? It looks amazing. It tastes really good to be honest. Alright, so, and I've got my bun, look how strange. It came like this. There's a thing sticking out of it. And actually it's just a bun on its own here. And the tetpa comes separately. Which is the beef. Yeah. So oh yeah, tetpa. So before I thought it was a pork. Okay. I might try my bun bao as well, which is my chicken bun. Oh. Not bad. Decent amount of filling. Lots of cheese. Yeah, so there is cheese, chicken, mushrooms in the middle. And it is steamed bun. Wow. wow. Okay, so I put on my sauce and I'll be honest, it's a bit strange. The texture of the sauce, very strange. Yeah. The bun itself is very soft, so happy about that. Look at it. Wow. Is that good? That this is really, really good. Soft. I've just been indulging myself in this. But the weird thing about that is, I thought the color was quite strange, but it tastes good. Yeah, it, I think they distinguish the different bun bows by the color. Not bad. Whoa. Not bad at all. To be honest, guys, so far, oh. the bun bow is a must try at 7 Eleven. This is really good. Have this. It's buttery. It's so good. Oh my. It has a curry taste to it. Yeah. It's like a curry pastry. It's so good. It's so buttery. Yeah. It's like the Japanese um. Japanese? Yeah, Japanese mm. buns. Mm -hmm. The curry buns. From the convenience store. Yeah. That's, that's what good. it is. 
And the cool thing about DLC was um, the pills actually came complimentary. So uh, regardless, you didn't want it, but they put it in anyway for you. Yeah, I just wanted milk tea for the morning. And they have they give you a to-go handle. Yep. It's actually awesome because a lot of people, of course, uh, walk or do uh, or ride scooters here, so you just rope it on or just carry it, yeah. get on with your day. My coffee's not bad. It just tastes like a very strong black coffee. It looks strong. <laughs> just in that little can of it. Yeah. Mm. But your drink's actually amazing. I'm so happy. Best first year so good. far. The bun bao. If you guys ever in Vietnam. Definitely try the jasso, which is milk tea, and, and the bun bows. And this. And that. This is so good. That's really good. To be honest, mm. Pate Sao, I've been had it a few times in Vietnam. I'm not sure if it's going to be a letdown or not, but let's try. Wow. This is so good. This one, it looks like tuna. It's got the taste of pork in it. But it's missing the onions and the pepper. Yeah, I mean the filling does look a bit strange, huh? Mmm. Oh. Not really big of a fan of it. But That's, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that one to be honest. Mmm. Not the best. Oh. trying a flavoured milk which I usually don't drink but I do see it's quite popular here um, so we have I think this raspberry orange and blueberry I might try the oh it's pomegranate I'll get the pomegranate I like the advertisement yeah. alright guys so in Vietnam they have a lot of different varieties of chips so here we have the seaweed chips which is a really unique flavour there is also other flavours which is like lobster which Lay's came out with it is lobster with a salted egg and then one of my favourites which is the Lay's truffle now this is a game changer I love truffle but in the chip form that is next level it is so good definitely try this if you're ever in Vietnam Alright guys, so lunchtime. So right here we both have drinks, which I have the corn milk. Yeah, and I've got the pomegranate uh, tea. Oh, pomegranate milk. And for lunch, what did we get? So I got mi dom, which is noodles, instant noodles. And I also opted for the bawa lob, and the, which is the beef in betel leaf, and fish cakes, and also pork. Yours. It looks good actually and they've just cooked it up quite fresh um, and then I've gotten the sandwich so there's egg, ham, cheese, lettuce and a lot of mayonnaise actually and they've cut the crusts off as well so it kind of reminds me of uh, Japan mm. Really cool I've also got an onigiri which we do struggle with so we'll see how we go when we unwrap it It's just a standard one, it seems like um, it's got seaweed rice and then it's also got tuna with mayonnaise We also saw something quite interesting so we've got the black pink Oreo and I think it's strawberry flavoured. Yeah. So the shaky beef, my look luck. And yeah, I'm starving. Let's dig in. Alright. A lot of mayonnaise in this, honestly. Alright. I'll, I'll try the fish cakes. Wow. This is wow. really good. But there's a lot of mayonnaise. That's so spicy. Really? Yeah, so Kim got this spicy fish cake which was on a skewer and um, when they were heating it up for us they decided to cut it into the actual noodles which is really, really convenient. There's a kilo Ooh. of mayonnaise on this. Wow, those noodles are really good. What? Oh, yeah, I'm going to try the pork. Oh my god. Wow. The so soft. I'm so impressed by um, convenience store food. Mm. It is so good. This meal is actually better than breakfast. Really? That's the first time I've tried that. Mm. Whoa. These are like mama noodles without the soup, like, like yeah. you said. It's practically like they've got the mama seasoning and just put it on top. Yeah. Whoa. It's a pack noodles. I like it. Yeah. That is really good. Where's the jalapenos in this place? Mm. 
So now I'm going to try the corn milk. I'm really keen to try this. I'm going to try my favorite boiler. Let's try this. It's very moist, a little oily maybe. Good? Yeah, it's okay. Wow, I thought that would be that is so good. very strange. What is it, corn? Corn milk? Yeah, try this. I love corn. I'm not too much fan of milk. I did get the pomegranate uh, flavoured milk today. But let's see. What's the thought? Whoa. I don't guess it's a dessert. I think there's a soybean in this as well, though. It's, it's like corn with soybean. It tastes the uh, soybean taste from it. Yeah. This isn't bad. I'm not sure how the cook is because of course I don't have a charcoal flame to grill it. Uh, but yeah, it's not bad. Flavoring is all there. On to the next. Let's try that on a Alright, so Dion has only had this a couple of times and each and every time it's been hilarious to watch him unfold it. It does get better every time. And I think it's only been one time that he successfully unwrapped it uh, relatively well. Yeah. <laughs> this is like origami. Alright, so I'm just going to follow the steps as you would. So down the middle, pull down the middle, pull the sides, oh, Ooh, that came off okay. relatively easy. One side's always good, the other side always becomes tricky. I think I need like, oh no, oh no. Well right. there it is, because like the first step you did we pull it all the way down. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, I got it. So I got one side. And then step four. Step four is pull the out the back all the way out. Alright, not bad. Getting there. So they do put the seaweed in a separate sort of wrap and when you unfold it it puts it together with the rice so that the seaweed doesn't get uh, moist and it stays crunchy. Very smart, but honestly we have not nailed how to do it. Yeah, this is like a jigsaw piece. It's so hard to get unwrapped. Oh, but it does look good nonetheless. I guess. <laughs> Let's try this. Is it good? Oh wow. That's really good. It's really good. That's really good. I love what I'm hearing. I might have been saying this for the cameras, but that's one of the best on the gears I've had. I'm not even kidding. That is actually really good. So simple, crispy seaweed, the rice is perfect. And the amount of tuna that I have in it, so good. Yeah. But actually, one thing we thought was quite strange is um, usually when we buy the onigiri and a sandwich, they ask us if they want it heated up. And we think it's very, very strange to eat a sandwich uh, warm, which has mayonnaise, you know, warm mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, and also the same with the onigiri. I like, I guess, sushi cold. I like this milk. I really like oh. this milk. This is good. Is it? Mm. It's really good. It is a pomegranate. I don't know what it really tastes like, but it tastes amazing. It tastes like yogurt. Oh, it does too. That yogurt we usually have. That's in a stick and there's an ad oh, for it and it's yeah. like something ripped the heads off and sucked my guts out. Yeah. It tastes like that. Exactly like that. Next up we have the black pink chorus. Well, the appetizer is pretty good. It is black and it's pink in the inside. The icing. Want to try this together? Okay. You're keen on the, <laughs> the noodles. The noodles are really good. The noodles are really good. Wow. Let's try this. Cheers. Whoa. It tastes like yam yams. Does it? Yeah, strawberry yam yams. What's that? Yam yams are the um, dessert snacks for kids where they have the stick oh. and then the little sauce you on the it side. In, you dip it in. I they taste like yams as in like a taro. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That tastes identical to yam yams, the strawberry yam yams. It does taste like your strawberry yams. So when you get in the container and then you get the biscuit, right? You dip yeah. it in. It's a long biscuit stick. Well, all right, and lastly, my shaky beef chips. Shaky beef. All right, these are kind of funky. They look cool. They're like little triangles. The group triangles. Shaky beef. Let's go. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Very light chip. Yeah, very light. It's just my center. Yeah. There's not much flavor to it, but I mean, I guess I can see where it's addictive. But honestly, if I closed my eyes and ate this, I wouldn't think it's lollipop. It tastes like... A little shaky. 
You can't taste like prawn crackers. I was just gonna say that, but I didn't know. It tastes like prawn crackers. It tastes like prawn when I lick it. The yeah. flavouring is prawn. Every chip but in really Vietnam is like. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed they love their prawn crackers in Vietnam. It's very airy, and it has enough flavour on it mm. to get you hooked. And it's pretty good. Thumbs up to Shaky Beef. <laughs> I, I like my drink a lot. I really like this bakso. So I really enjoyed the sandwich. I was taking out some of the mayonnaise, a lot of the mayonnaise. Yeah. And I love the onigiri. Oh yeah, really sorry, good. I forgot. The onigiri was so good. I can't just forget. I mean, we inhaled that onigiri so quickly, I forgot that we actually purchased it. And the meat dom is quite impressive. I had no expectations. I mean, honestly, when it came out, it looked a little dry. And I thought maybe they just oiled it up. I didn't realize there would actually be a seasoning on it. So we did order the vegetable one, that's I think the only one on offer at this 7-Eleven and then you pimp it up by pick, picking your skewers and so there's like owls and other things too And eggs as um, well Yeah, eggs. eggs or sausages that they can cut up as well So just things all in the convenience store that you can get and sort of tell them to put it into your bowl yeah. uh, But we just went for what was in the uh, bag marine We're going to finish up here, maybe rest and get ready for dinner uh, Next up uh, for dinner we're having 7-Eleven <laughs> Yeah, we'll see you there dinner time and honestly we are so stuffed we've had such a big breakfast and such a big lunch yes so I've got the spaghetti with the sausages I got a just a small snack and I'll be having some yours just a breadstick and then we've got a few desserts to share so we got uh, this which is a chocolate croissant and then we've got a mango dessert as well as a jar so jar dao jang I think it's called in Vietnamese oh. And I'm, I'm really excited for this actually, it's a durian uh, crepe and we've got a few other things so two drinks that we see a lot of uh, locals drink and we haven't tried it because we're not really a fan of uh, fizzy sugary drinks but we thought we'd try it for this vlog so we've got the notorious <laughs> sting. crack cocaine sting yeah we've heard some crazy things about that and yeah. then we've got the marinda which is I think just a grape flavoured uh, blueberry looks yeah. like um, soda so here we have banjang nung and tomato chips all right, let's try this, your spaghetti. So very interesting, on the packaging it actually said that it was Japanese style sort of spaghetti. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. It's kind of on the dry side. It's more dry than usual. Yeah, no, actually definitely judging it. Mm. it um, the sauce is, uh, just, it's not really sauce, it looks more like they've used a paste or even powder and not mm. enough paste. Yeah. Um, to make it a saucy feel. But the, the pasta itself looks very al dente. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah, absolutely right. Okay, and I've, I've got this. So this is, I've opened it up, it's the bread roll. And um, of course they heated it up, so it is a bit soggy actually. But inside looks pretty good, right? There's a lot it of does. cheese there. It's good. Have a bite with me? Yeah, let's <laughs> do this. Hmm. Wow, that's good. Yeah. It's like barbecued chicken. Mmm. It tastes like the soy, yeah. You know the soy one? Mmm. The shredded chicken in um, soy, which is a sticky rice dish. Mmm. Yeah, it does, doesn't mm. it? I just opened this up and smell it. It's such a big woof. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's very sneeze from that. squiddy. I want to try the bun yo. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, so it is like a rice cake. Inside it has pork, wood ear mushroom, and sometimes it has egg. Whoa, this one looks good. It does look good. So actually, Two days ago, we had a vegetarian one, and it's actually my favorite now. Mm. Wow. And to be honest, on appearance, it looks very sickening, but it's really tasty. Mm. So good. Mm, it's good. And another good thing about this as well, you don't mm. need to go to 7 Eleven mm. to get it. You will hear on the side of the road, mm. usually um, street vendors will sell it on their bikes. So they have the speaker attached to their bike, and they'll be selling these kind of um, snacks. Mm. Sorry, I want to wash everything down with this thing. That's so true. It's beautiful, spons me sting. It smells amazing. I've never had another thing as well. Oh, that does smell amazing. Another thing as well. I've never had a sting before. We and see a lot of the locals um, taking a break after you, you can tell they're working, taking a break during the day and having a sting. And we think that you know, upon impression, it looks like it would be a very, very strong 
caffeinated energy drink. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, it's quite funny because Dion wasn't sure if he should have it for dinner, but we thought, let's try it, why not now? Yeah. And I guess um, he probably won't be sleeping tonight, but yeah. cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, this is really good. Oh, wow. So this thing is red ginseng. Really? And I'm just reading this off the label here. But it tastes like raspberry slurpee if mm. it was watered down. Wow. Try that. This is really amazing. It's a really good drink. Marinda. I've never tried this. Wow, me neither. I've never had a flavor like that either. It smells it amazing. It tastes like grape, but uh, a little bit different because it's blueberry. And it's really good. Wow. That's like three different tastes in one. This tastes like Gatorade. It tastes like slurpee to me, to be honest. Mm. It's just one of those slushies. Red Bull gives you wings. This gives you anxiety. This is like, <laughs> this is a lot of caffeine. I'm already feeling buzzed. No, that this definitely tastes like Slurpee. Slurpee extant. This we really enjoy this tomato chips. We thought it was kind of strange. Would you eat tomato chips? Yeah, we do. Um, but we thought maybe it would be sweeter here. Hmm. So good. Okay. So good. Can't go wrong with that. Really hot. Mm. All right. Next up is mm. the munchan, which has a really strong smell. Oh, Ooh, that's really thick. All right. So this is the munchan, but it's the munchan me, which is um, rice paper with sesame sesame seeds on it. Spicy prawn. Yeah. Let's try. Mm, that's pretty good. That's good. Wow. Oh, it's sweet. I like it. It's subtle. It's addictive. These are so addictive though. Mm -hmm. Oh my. This hurt time. I've waited a while for this. Mm. I really would have wanted to try this. I haven't had this in a long time. It's got coconut cream on the top. It's got beans, the white beans. Wow, I miss right. this. This looks good. Oh. This looks really good. It smells really good. That looks amazing. Mm. That looks really amazing. Wow, that chocolate's really good. We figured today oh. that any pastry items at 7-Eleven is a must. Except for the party store. Except for the pate <laughs> store. <laughs> Be aware. Wow. Oh, wow. It's so good, right? Try this with me? Yeah, let's go. Oh. Oh, that looks really good. Mmm. That crumbled. Oh, what's in the middle? There's cream that comes out of it. Mango and a pineapple. Yeah. No. Yeah, mango and pineapple. Kind oh, of passion fruit even. No, it's passion fruit on top. Mm. Ah, okay. All right, lucky last. Oh. I've been eyeing this all day. All day. Yeah, waiting for dinner time. There we go. That looks Ooh, good. Oh, and it smells really good. Wow, that layering. Mmm. <laughs> oh my. That. That's so good. That's so good. But it definitely tastes like the birthday cakes oh, you yeah. have, right? That's good. It's so good. That's so good. 24 hours at 7-Eleven. It's crazy, actually. Initially starting the day, we thought um, we would be sick of the food by the end of it and we would run out of options. But there is so many options. But we just decided what uh, was interesting to us and sort of try that. Mm. And a few of our favorites to be through in there. Yeah. Um, so we definitely do hope that you enjoyed our video. If there's anything that you would like to see us try, please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to turn on that notification button and like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Yeah,